You've either got a green thumb or you ain't. You've probably heard these words before, people claiming, I ain't got a green thumb. Well, I'm here today to tell you that that's a lot of rubbish. Look at my thumbs, they're not green. Whoa! In this video, I'm gonna be showing you those little pineapple quarters that we made in the last video, trying to cultivate and get them pineapple suckers to develop. I'll be showing you the results and I thought it'd be a nice opening, a nice opportunity to talk about plant failure. And near the end of the video, we'll be talking about some of the keys to a greener thumb. So make sure you stick around for that. Hey guys, welcome back to Green Thumbs Garden. I'm Alex and if this is your first time here and you love gardening videos, horticulture, ornamental, plant care and DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So let's have a look at these plant quarters that we made. Well, there's not much to say other than the fact that they're dead. We didn't get one to succeed. So my thumbs are not looking so green. Now other, <laughs> we've got this one right here. And this is the one that produced us the two suckers. And I've popped him back in cause he's got a nice little bit of a root system. And I got a feeling that he'll develop us another sucker. It's been two weeks and it's still green, which is a really good sign. So I'm expecting another sucker to develop from that. But as you see the rest of them, they've all died. There's no green, no life left. We lost the lot. And this is to be expected. It's normal. We all lose plants all the time. Sudden disease outbreak or a pest infestation that catches you off guard and unaware and wipes out your weak or young plants. A sudden heat wave or your cat that's decided to make your potted plants its new litter tray. These things happen. It's how the horticultural cookie crumbles. The important thing is not to get overly discouraged and disappointed and give up. The problem is with social media and let's say by extension YouTube, it can give us a warped, unrealistic view of success. You know the saying, if you suffer from depression or mental health, is to stay away from websites like Facebook and Instagram, social media. Why? Because, well, we're only seeing the best and the highlights of other people's lives. Oh, the Johnsons are on the fourth holiday this year, Frank. We've never got the money. We always britches our sat. I'm fed up. But nobody's seen poor Mr. Johnson having to work seven days a week, barely seeing his wife and kids and having to sink a six pack every night just to deal with the stress until he waits for his six day vacation four times a year. We're only seeing the highlights that people want us to see and it can warp our sense of reality. And we can apply this little exaggerated story to YouTube in gardening. Don't be discouraged if you don't have success first time. Few do. Failure is the mother to success. When you're pottering about with your plants and you experience failure, don't be afraid to change it up a little bit. Try and troubleshoot and research the situation. And when you try again next time, do it a little bit different and change it up. Using our little quotes that we made as an example, what might have gone wrong here. Well, maybe some of the quotes were too old. There wasn't enough life left in them. So what do we do next time? Well, we try and find a fresher pineapple. Maybe buy our pineapples when it is the season for buying pineapples because now it's not the season here for getting good fresh pineapples. They're always a little bit old. Maybe on the other half, I should have allowed them one day just to skin, skin over, but I wanted to get them in there and maybe they caught a disease and they didn't take, maybe I should have gave them a day to skin over. And we had a bad problem with fungus gnats, which now I'm treating with BTI to kill them. Really bad, we've got infestation of fungus gnats at the minute. Maybe that didn't help spreading diseases and fungus to our little quartz. So what do we do next time? Well, we try and fix all them little issues and we try again. Interestingly, these two little suckers that we made, that took eight quarters before I got one to succeed. The first batch of quarters, they all died. They didn't make it. The second batch, three quarters failed. 
but one made it. One made it and it produced us two suckers and it's only one sucker really that we need. Once we've got one to succeed, then well, we're in the game now because eventually this is gonna produce us really good suckers once it starts growing and developing. So you just gotta keep going, keep trying. You're very unlikely to probably have success first time. And it all depends where you live. You might live in a part of the world where pineapples are grown quite close and you're getting really good fresh pineapples and there's a lot of life still left in them tops but you might live somewhere the other side of the world where pineapples take a long time to get transported from, I don't know where they're grown, Costa Rica, until they get to your supermarkets and they've lost a lot of life in that time. So it might take a little bit of an extra effort for you to succeed with these, with these quotes. So what are some of the keys to a greener farm? Well, first is you're gonna be actually interested in plants and that goes beyond being in a garden center and seeing a plant and going, hey hon, that, <laughs> that ficus is gonna look nice under the stairwell, but actually be interested, do some research, download an app that helps you identify plants and find out what type of plant it is, find out what its requirements are, light requirements, soil requirements, water requirements, does it like a lot of water, does it like to be left to dry a little bit before you have to water it again? And then buy a plant to suit the needs of the location rather than putting any plant in the location and hoping that it does well. Just that alone, you're gonna increase your success chances and your form is gonna be getting a lot greener. And second, if you fail, don't give up. It's all part of the package. Get involved in your gardening community. You can join our gardening community that we're growing on Discord or post your comments in the comment section as well. Learn from the other people that are interested in plants. Try and troubleshoot the situation and figure out what's gone wrong. And don't be afraid of changing it up, doing it a little bit different next time. All along the way, you're gonna be learning, increasing your knowledge on plants and gardening, and your thumb's gonna be growing evergreener still. And third, you can hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you're notified when videos come out like this one. Channels like this work hard to bring you on point information so you don't waste your time. So make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna know about five top air purifying plants for your home, actually decided by NASA, then make sure you click on the video that's just popped up on the right there. If you wanna support the channel and its growth, then make sure you share the content with your friends. Hit the like button as well so YouTube knows that people like it. Also, channel memberships are gonna be coming out in the future for people that really wanna support the channel that way and enjoy some of the various perks that will be involved and come with it. Until next time, guys, it's been fun catching up with you, showing you the failure, the disastrous failure of the quarters. I'll see you next time.